Rated everyone 10 and up. The things I've done. A better person would feel bad. Me. I don't know. I didn't know how to start it out. What the hell do you want from me? <laughs> we, I we, we. We. Well, I, I I did the, the bloody time saying I got a need, a need for speed. So I didn't want to do that joke again. Just keep doing that <laughs> joke every time we have to talk about this. And if you still haven't figured out what we're talking about, we're talking about need for speed. I'm Brandon, of course, and with me I have Nikki G. Hello. Yes. Uh, Nikki G has not played this game, so, you know, because I could not get anybody to play this game besides me. Even Nick, I was, he was like, oh, fine, you know I'm just gonna have it for a little bit and play it and then send it back. I'm like, that's fine. After a bloody time, he literally just put down the controller and said, done! Not doing it anymore. <laughs> and he just, I was like, alright, I'm not gonna, you know, I can't, for, you know, until I start, unless we ever start getting paid to do this, there's no way for me to ever entice anybody to, you know, play a game. <laughs> Drives me up the fucking wall sometimes. That's why. Until you, until you tie him down and beat I him. Know, pry his eyes open, just have the controller taped to his hands. Yeah, you could, until you finish it. Guess you're not getting it done. And then you have to do a review. <laughs> but anyways, yes, Need for Speed Rivals. Uh, basically, okay. This one, you know, it kind of disappoints me with this game. Uh, I didn't play last year's Need for Speed Underground. But I played the year before that, The Run. And The Run had a story, not really compelling, but enough to get me going, get me through the game, enough to give me an excuse to keep driving. This one, there is no story. There's really even no game modes besides race or be a cop. So you get to choose between racer or cop. Oh, by the way, also, before I continue, stop. Arr, putting the brakes on. Uh, see what I did there? Uh, Nikki G., what studio made yes. this? It was Ghost Games was the, was the developers. Publishers, Electronic Arts. Well, of course, EA had their dick in it. But yes, Ghost <laughs> Games. And I had this on the 360, which I don't have live for the 360, so my game was kind of half a game. But anyways, yeah, you get a pick between a cop or a racer. So I picked, I, I played as both. So I played as a cop because the cop was automatically way more fun than a racer because your entire goal as a cop is just to wreck the racers not just stop them but destroy them which automatically that kind of gave me that burnout feel right there is just when you had to just wreck just go after these guys and wreck them and that was kind of fun for a little bit you know you're just driving and just kind of just ramming into them and you could get these special abilities like throwing down spikes or ramming speed is actually a special ability where your rams just do twice as much damage cop part was kind of fun you know where it got kind of bad where is that? Repetitiveness. Because you had, all right, with the cop playing single player, you could either chase down racers, uh, drive around in the, the track as quickly as you can, which is the track just being the street, but it's essentially a track. Uh, you know, you could drive around it, you know, hitting these time limits, like, oh, if you don't hit this checkpoint in time, then, you know, you run out of time. Actually, no, the time's going up. Time keeps going up the whole time, and you're trying to get to this, get to the finish line, essentially. It's a, it's like a self-race. You got the, that, and that's about it. You got those two modes when the cop. So, I mean, one stressful as hell. I'll give you a hint which one that is. Uh, the one with the time is stressful as hell, and one is fun as hell. Then you can be the racer, and the racer is racing. Duh. Yeah, <laughs> you, racing, <laughs> uh, escaping the cops, and those were the two I found. As being a racer. Here's the problem, Nikki G. With no story and no real goal at hand, it just, the whole goal is tr basically to just try to earn better vehicles or new shit for your vehicles. And I gotta- Or car porn. It's car porn. It is, it is major car porn. It is the car of the porniest. Oh god, I can't <laughs> tell you how uninterested I was with this game. When I was playing it and they're like, you earned a new muffler, I'm like, you know I'm not gonna- Go. I didn't even change my car, for God's sakes. I can't even tell you what car I was driving. I was just driving a fucking car. I was giving, I, they gave me a starter car. I was like, yeah, sure, this works. I didn't look at the stats. I didn't care. 
I understand, folks, that this is not my cup of tea. I'm not even, I can't even really fairly judge this game because I just don't give a shit. But the driving mechanics were unforgiving as fuck. Good God. You know, you know how you're kind of used to the arcade dri- uh, driving games, Nick? Yes. Like the run was very forgiving. You know, where, you know, it wasn't so much like, oh, you missed this turn, or you flip out, or hit the, you know, shit just doesn't come out of nowhere. Oh, God. It was just this horrible thing where, you know, I would somehow always run into something. Like, just, I would be looking at, I'd be looking at my, it would literally be one of those things where I look at the rear view mirror and then look in front of me and just ram into another car. And the physics in this game is just one of those things where you just, you know, your car is just total immediately. There's no, there's no question about it. You, you know, oh no, I hit a speed bump. I'm totaled. <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of, it, you know, I will hand it to this game. This game is beautiful, but I could have gone for more of a real life physics with the car. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where if I went off, if I, you know, wreck my car, it looks pretty, or if I just fuck up the car a little bit, it looks fucked up. This one, I mean, it starts looking fucked up, but it looks like kind of dumb. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look convincing enough. I want to be like, if I run into the wall and start scraping against it, I want my back bumper to go flying off. I don't want to have a side mirror. I mean, how are we not into these day, today's day and age of graphics where we get that? You know, I don't know. Just a scratch here on the paint, you yeah, know, no. a little or bump there. If, you know, and the racers are tough to take out when because I play mostly as a cop. And when you're trying to take out a racer, it's a pain in the ass because you're rhyming the back of them. And we're going like 100 miles an hour. If I tap your ass in, you're going, you're flipping. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, folks, real life, this is what happens. If you're going 100 miles an hour and someone just hits the, uh, your tail end, you're going to go spinning out of control. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're not going to just be like, oh, nope, you hit the back end. I'm still going. You took off a little prove bit it. of life. I don't have time to go prove it, bloody screen style. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it, it kind of drove me nuts that little bit. Just like, you no, know, you know, or when I, you know, somehow I use the ramming speed power and it doesn't even take him out or I hit him, you know, they kind of, they, because I do like this aspect. If you're playing as a cop and you're going against the racers, the racers will fuck up just because otherwise you never keep up with them. So they do fuck up. And then you, it, it, some things I've actually had them fuck up where they rammed into something on accident and they're, they're like, I'm going right at their side. I hit their side. Didn't do hardly any damage. I'm like, no, he's in commit. He's out. He's done. I won. And yet he just kept going. And the game I felt was really repetitive. I did not get to play online, which I really feel like EA is. That's their way of trying to push you to play is online. Because it has kind of that like, oh, compare your stats with your friends. Uh, race against each other. That's a big one. Or hunt down your friends. I mean, this game probably would be immensely fun online. I really have to yeah. Say. That's what it kind of looks like. I mean, I remember, uh, seeing some gameplay and, uh, I mean, how do you explain? I can't remember what was the point system exactly. You take the points from a, from an enemy car, I guess you'd say it, and you drop them off. Wait, what do you mean with the enemy car? Like if you were a cop and you oh, were going against, after a racer? It's merely destroy them. It's just right. destroy them. Uh, I never actually, uh, as a cop, I was only going after one racer at a time. I never got to a point where I had to go after, like, a street race gang or something. Uh, I Actually, I guess I did have to go after a couple racers. But another problem is I, for some reason, kept being on the same track. Like, I never, I guess, unlocked another track or something. And that got a little annoying. And it, it's just, it was just kind of, for a non-racing fan, I didn't see any value in this. Like, if you're a racing fanatic, you probably will tell me I'm wrong and what do you know, Brandon? You're an idiot, blah, 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 blah. But you know what would also help for a racing game, Nick? A good soundtrack. Oh, hell yeah. This had no soundtrack. No memorable one. I don't remember. They pl- Actually, you know, they did have a soundtrack. It was a bunch of music I never fucking heard of. So I didn't know if this was, like, music they made up for the game or if this was all new music <laughs> that I've never heard of because... Uh, Only car people can hear it. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Car people, let me know. I, I don't know. It's a lot, it was a lot of, it was a lot of like punk and rap and stuff, if I remember correctly. A lot of hip hop, actually. But I, I, I don't know. This one just seems like they just, they're just shooing out. It, does it, is it me or does it seem like EA is just shooing out Need for Speed now? Cause this is the third year in a row they've thrown one out. I mean, hell, why not? I mean. Easy money. Don't really have to change much about it. Yeah, it is like there. It is 
a easy like Call of Duty money where like oh yeah we added a couple new features and just let you get I mean, they don't even need a story and people will buy it so they don't need to hire writers or you know voice actors or anything they just need to have like some lady who says now to do this and you get these annoying as tutorial like me and Nick when we did, were recording for the bloody time we had to wait a good 15 minutes just to get before we could get started because I didn't want to do the tutorial at all and still ended up doing part of a tutorial kind of got pissed off there yeah, I'm trying to get better with the bloody times by, you know, skipping the whole, like, making sure we, when we start out that we don't have to deal with the tutorial. Anyways, uh, anything you want to ask me about this game? Mm. Was Aaron Paul in this? Aaron Paul was not in this. Oh, damn it. Ben Diesel was not in this. No one was in this. Uh, nor either the voice actor who was in the Need for Speed the Run, Brandon Roth, was not in this either. With his annoying th- way of talking where he talked out of the side of his mouth and just, and just like, shut the fuck up, dude. You're a horrible actor. How do you keep getting work? Uh, yeah. Otherwise, the cars handle fine for the most part. Uh, not really. Honestly, I actually like the cars in GTA handling better than this. But that's their own thing. It does look pretty. And if you're in a car porn, I honestly feel like this is one of those games that will probably be better suited on the next gen consoles. I just feel like they just look even better. But I don't know. I don't know what else. I kind of. I probably would have gone for more of a burnout vibe if they would have gave it to me. What about Car Apocalypse? Car Apocalypse. Anything, dude. Fucking Twisted Metal. I don't care. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Actually, the last Twisted Metal was weird, dude. It, it had the weirdest driving mechanics. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna be fair to this game though, because I know I'm not a car fan. So I'm gonna be perfectly fair. Three out of five. Um, this is an average tr- racing game. Doesn't bring anything new or special to the table. Nothing that blew me away. Nothing that kept me going. But if you're a, dra- a racing fan, you'll probably love it. If you rent this, I would say if you're like if you kind of like racing games, rent it, check it out, see what you like. But you know, this is really, to my knowledge, a lot like Hot Pursuit. So if you're a big fan of Hot Pursuit, you'd really enjoy this. So that is it, everybody. That you know. Drive safe, I guess. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to end it. Like you know, I, I goddamn. Hey, get get a better ending, Nick. Get a better ending. Hmm. I have the need. No, no. I, know, I have the. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I you know, fuck it. Anyways, uh, you could be my wingman anytime. <laughs>